What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome to this tutorial on how to make your PS4 controller work on Unreal Engine 4. So the controller I'm talking about is the DualShock 4 controller and um, yeah, we're gonna make it work on Unreal Engine 4 because if you just plug it in and try it out, it just doesn't work. So we're gonna make it work as an Xbox controller and it's gonna be using this app called DS4 Windows. And after we make it work, we're gonna set the controls of our game on the controller so that we can test it out. So I'm gonna be using the action RPG project that I've been doing for the tutorial series as a test. So yeah, you can call this a part of the action RPG series, but it's a standalone part. So yeah, you can use it as a video by itself. So to download this DS4 Windows, you want to go to an, a website called ds4windows.com and uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the link in the description, hopefully, I don't forget. And you just want to press download now. And it takes you to GitHub. You just download the zip file and save it. And I'm quickly going to show you. How it goes so yeah there are two files here you just put them here and this one just works as you can see so I'm gonna delete the old one actually maybe I'm gonna use this one better I don't know actually can I undelete it yeah here it is I'm gonna delete the new one the old one just works well for me so why would I use the new one actually this is a sh shortcut but yeah whatever so this is the dual shock 4 that I'm gonna be using and I just plugged it in over here uh, with the same charger that came with the PS4 and I'm also gonna plug it in with the USB to my computer just put it in and when you have it plugged in you don't want to actually turn it on you just want to make sure that the light is yellow so that it's connected to your computer but if you press the PlayStation button and try to turn it on it's actually gonna uh, turn on your PlayStation 4 which is gonna be a mess so just don't press it just open the S4 Windows and it's gonna work device is ready wireless controller is set up and ready to go and you should see it over here there are other stuff you can mess with but I just think it works for me the way it is by default so I'm gonna go to my project and I'm gonna go to project settings and we'll see how it works so you go to the input area and uh, yeah here we have the controls of our game so the first thing is the walking I think we already have that set up by default yeah gamepad left thumbstick y axis for the move forward move right is also like this turn oh wait turn okay it does not work for the turning so i'm gonna add a plus over here and actually let's focus on this stuff first now the first thing we're, we're gonna change is the draw weapon i'm gonna add the plus and the button i'm gonna be using is the d-pad up so i'm just gonna type in d-pad actually no what what is it called i'm gonna go to the gamepad yeah gamepad d-pad up here it is the crouch i'm gonna choose the circle button for crouching for now so i'm gonna go to the gamepad area and gamepad face button left sprinting i'm gonna choose the l3 button so we go game gamepad left thumbstick button jumping we're just gonna choose x it's already done over here so gamepad face button bottom light attack i'm gonna go with the square button so it's gonna be left face right face no left yeah left face button the heavy attacks will be the triangle so it's gonna be the up upper button top gamepad face button top 
the blocking is gonna be L1 so we're gonna add that gamepad left bumper I think it's called let's see where is it yeah left shoulder lock on is gonna be the R3 button so right thumbstick button which one we didn't add it's the toggle walk mm, which one is it gonna be let's see yeah L2 is fine for now so we're gonna go with the left trigger now for the run for the turning for turning the camera we're gonna go with um, thumbstick right thumbstick y axis I think I'm not sure which one is it here yeah it's the x axis so I'm gonna try it out the same as this one And let's see if the turning works. Yeah, it works just for left and right. This is good for stuff like mobile games, but not for this one. So we should change the project settings again. Where is it? Lookup rate. I think I'm going to change this one. Yeah, I think this is it. Y axis. Lookup. I'm going to add the Y axis over here right thumbstick y-axis I think we don't need this one and this one but I don't know let's just leave them they won't bother us and if we play our game as you can see we can now play it with a controller and if we sprint we can sprint We can put the weapon. Oh, we can toggle walk and run. We can lock on. We can attack. And heavy attack. And do combos. And why did we crouch? There's something wrong. Okay. No problem. If we put the weapon back... Oh, why doesn't the animation work? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it worked in the previous video. I don't know what's wrong now. But yeah, we can also jump. Oh, we can block. And yeah, that's how you make the PS4 controller work on Unreal Engine 4. So if this was useful for you guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to like the video so that you can motivate me to make more useful tutorials. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.